The most common foundation in this area is a slab on grade. That's just that big piece of concrete, okay? This is the next most common, and this is the oldest form. This is a pier and beam. And if you look under here, these are your piers, okay, concrete. They're concrete, and they were poured. You can tell by looking at it that they used a sauna tube to pour them. A sauna tube, that's that big hard plastic kind it's of... A, it's, it's a cardboard, but it's extremely stiff. Okay. Okay, and <clears throat> when they pour them, then they have to peel it off. That's a mistake a lot of people make, by the way, is they leave some of that. Yeah. And the termites love them. <laughs> okay. But then they set... They set the uh, beam right on top of it. If we have any movement, then all we have to do is adjust it here by lifting up and shimming under there. But you can tell by looking at these that there's almost no movement at all. Well, look here. Here's our support post. It's not helping anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, you see with this shim right here? Yeah. This is where they've leveled it right here. Okay, and that's all there is to it. This is should be sitting down on rock. And if it is, this is going to be a very stable foundation. I love them because if you decide you want to change something, suddenly you want a TV in a different place or something like that, or maybe I want a gas range instead of an electric range. Well you can get under here and run those pipes and wires. You can make changes. Or if you have a slab on grade, you either have to cut into a slab, which is not desirable, or you have to do it in an attic. And if you have a two-story house, you can't get in your attic. So you're really limited on what you can do. This house is almost limitless on the changes you can make. Uh, it's well, a, extremely I, stable. I guess, Chet, the one thing you do have to make certain on it is that you've got proper drainage under a pier and beam, huh? Well, that's the first thing that bothers me when I walk here, because when I look, I can see the slope. One of the things you've got to do on this house is out in the front of this house, you're going to have to berm it out there to make sure that the water can't come under here. Because that's when the bad stuff starts. You want to keep this dry. Okay? The other thing you may want to do that's not happening right now is close this off so you don't get critters under here <laughs> because you can you get a skunk under here and it'll be real unpleasant <laughs> a lot of times I'm flipping through paperwork when I'm doing this and I just said when you work with septics you learn not to lick your fingers <laughs>